you're playing your two characters on stage uh -huh. in the tour too, right? Yes, yeah, so and we have Kenny Ortega who is directing it, and he did like High School Musical and all these really cool things. So the kids are really familiar with him and what he does. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it's, he's making it where I actually get to be both my characters at the same time and they do a duet together. Oh, really? Yeah, and I told my little sister, which she doesn't like me that much, but she likes my character. She loves Hannah Montana, she's a big fan, but she doesn't like me at all. So when I told her, I was like, you're not gonna believe who I get to sing with Noah. I get to sing with Hannah Montana on stage. She was just like, at the same time. So every other, like, all those 15,000 kids that are out there, I hope that they're all just, like, freaking out. Because I'm with them and the Jonas Brothers who are with me on the tour. Yeah, that's right. And, and, and how's that? They're opening for you, and they're huge, too. That's, that's, that's a great film, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, like, an intense show. You see it all, and you get a, you think, once you see the Jonas Brothers, you think you've seen everything. And then you see the Hannah Montana, and you think you've seen it all. And then you see when Miley comes out, and then you see Jonas Brothers and Hannah Montana and Miley all together. It's really crazy. How do you feel about the success you're having? I mean, this is, this is really huge success. I mean, how are you, because you seem pretty grounded. You seem pretty normal about this. Um, well, I don't really know. I guess from watching my dad, just because he takes everything one step at a time, and that's kind of what he's taught me, too, just to not get yourself so wrapped up in everything that you can't bring yourself back to reality. And when I do see myself kind of slipping and just kind of caught in the little box that I've been put in, I try to do something that sets me out of the box and makes me different. Mm -hmm. Makes me not be just like another girl on TV, but also right. make me relate to everyone that I'm with. And I'm sure you can watch what's going on with other, you know, young stars that are losing their way and how easy that is to lose your way. You've got to be so proud of her. I mean, did you know, like, from early on, she's got something special? Well, before she was born, you know, I I had this vision that, that <laughs> her name should be... This is going to be yeah, long. Destiny Hope is her real name, but from the time she was born, you know, she, she just smiled all the time. We started calling her Smiley, and that evolved into Miley, but even before she was born, I just felt like it was her destiny to bring hope to the world, you know, and uh, so she had her name before she was born. That's sweet. <laughs> Speaking of leaders and followers, when you, you had a huge following on Twitter and then all of a sudden you decided to shut it down and it was news, like people freaked out that you shut down your Twitter account. Yeah, people still are freaking out. Uh, Twitter is an interesting concept to me, because one, I'm always hearing people being like, you know, it's really hard, I don't have a private life, and then I'm like, okay, well, you didn't have to tell everyone you were doing your nails at this moment or you're at the grocery store. You chose to tell people that. Right. So I felt like I was one of those people who was like, I'm never private. Mom, I hate this. I want to go home. I'm not private. And then I'm like, okay, every five minutes I'm telling people what I'm doing. And then I would complain about privacy. So I think it's just about if that's what you want, fine, or just choose what you say wisely. Right. I heard that when you, uh, one of the reasons you shut down your Twitter account is that you were outspoken supporting gay marriage and you got a lot of hate mail. All of a sudden people started saying very threatening things to you. Yeah, you know, I think people, um, I, I don't know, it's, that was something that I was asked a question. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like I was trying to force my opinion on anyone else. Right. I was asked the question, Miley, what do you think? And I said, I believe that there's no other judge but God. I'm not one to tell someone that they can't love someone else when mm -hmm. I'm happily in love with someone. I would never want to be the person to take that away. So that's what I, I believed, and then I got people hating me for believing in love. And that seems very interesting that someone could be hated because you want someone else to love another person. It right. just seems very twisted to me. So I was just like, you know, I, I, I guess it's better to keep your opinions to yourself, but I I'm never regret what I say, I guess, when I speak my opinion, because if I'm asked, I will tell you. I'm not one to be like, um, I don't know, because I want to please everyone. You yeah. can't please everyone. And I'm sure what I'm saying now won't please everybody, but that's what I think, and that's what I feel. I think it's important to share your opinions. You. Always. That's good. Especially you, you know? Yeah. People listen, so. All right. Now, are, are you uh, are you ending Hannah Montana? Is that right? This is our last season that we're filming right now. We've got seven more episodes, but we've done it in a way where it'll go on till an, at least another year all over the world. Hannah Montana will uh -huh. still be on the air. So we just did the season finale of season three, and now we're finishing up season four. So it's not completely over yet. Are you, uh, well, you shouldn't say relieved, but I mean, are you happy to move on now? Is it enough? Yeah, it's bittersweet. Um, because it's such a security blanket for me. It's so comfortable because after I go off and do something that, you know, I do 80 shows on tour, I go do a film or whatever, I'm like, oh, I gotta go back to Hannah Montana. It's easy for me. It's like a rhythm that I know really well. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not gonna have that easy thing to go back to. And um, it's interesting. It's almost kind of like a vacation sometimes because mm -hmm. I go there, I know it so well. It's so easy for right. me now. Not having that makes me a little worried. Right. 
Well, I know people are going to miss it, but you have so many different things going on. So yes. it's not like we're going to miss you because no. you're going to be. And they'll rerun out. it till yeah. yes, the end of me, yeah, I yeah. promise. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they will. Yeah. You look fantastic. I Thank love you. that dress. Thank you. You look great. And I love your hair. Thank you. I very really much. do. Thank you. It's even it's even shorter now, right? Yes, I uh, started buzzing, um, which is getting shorter and shorter. Do you shorter. do it yourself? Oh no 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 no! Because I really would have like fun. bald spots and like crazy yeah. places. I tried it one time, and I thought I didn't know you had to put like the end, like the numbers. Like I didn't really know the one, two, three. Oh, I was like, oh, this is Liam's. And I was like, ooh, Chris, who I think has done your hair, my hair. Silas yeah. was like, um. So remember those cute sides and those like little sideburns? Those are gone. So then that's why the like shaving began. So because you tried it yourself. Yeah, it's important to have either zero, one, or two. But when you tweeted out, let's get to the, because you tweeted out when you cut your hair initially, mm. and then you got like all this, like people like, first of all, it's none of their business. It was actually so, weird that you posted that photo, because as soon as I cut my hair, I was like, do I look like Ellen a little bit? <laughs> do, like, do we look a little bit similar? Uh -huh. Like blue eyes, the hair, and then I saw your photo shortly after, yeah. and I was like, yeah, no, we totally do. Yeah, well, no, you twinsies. You, you look a lot better <laughs> than me, but but it's. I think it's just rare that a lot of women don't cut their hair short, it's and so, so it's a big nice. deal. Don't you like love having it short? Just yeah. waking up. I feel like when you wake up, your hair's always look, done. There, look, we do look just alike. <laughs> exactly. Twins. Exactly. Yeah. No, it is. It's so much easier. It's so easy. And yeah. like the dirtier my hair is, the more I like it. So it's great. Yeah. The showering's really cut down. I'm saving water. Yeah. I'm like doing all kinds You're of things. You're helping the environment, I Miley. Am. This is a, you know, a statement. Good more for, than a fashion yeah. statement. Good Eco friendly. You. You're now you have nothing you're scared of. I came of. to as close to death as as you possibly can because mm -hmm. you make they make you do this. This is the scary part. They make you make a movie like right before they film you saying I, Miley Cyrus, realize sometimes parachutes don't work. And that's like one of the worst sentences I've ever said in my entire life before jumping uh, 12,000. So, so now you're there. saying, so nothing will scare you anymore. And nothing, nothing, no, nothing can <laughs> scare you. Oh my God, oh my God! <laughs> oh my God. The strippers. No, I was scared it was gonna be strippers. No, you no. never know with Ellen. <laughs> no, it's just a Robin Thick look-alike. So <laughs> nothing scarier. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. My tradition is to play games with my family today. I've invited some of my family to play one of my favorite games called Game of Things. Welcome my wonderful Aunt Martha. And here's my cousin twice removed, Snoop Dogg. And hello to my twin sister, Miley. Here's how we play. Earlier, you all answered questions, and your answers are on these cards right here. I have not seen them. I have to guess who said which one. If I get it right, I'm going to your house for Thanksgiving, I think. <laughs> all right, here's the first category. Things that would make this game more exciting. All right. Marijuana. Oh, <laughs> uh, <I'm sorry. laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, uh, this one's hard. This one's a toughie. <laughs> I'm gonna say marijuana. I'm gonna say cannabis. <laughs> and I'm gonna say. You know I like the harder stuff. Drugs. <laughs> How many did I get right? Oh! Our podiums are stumped. All right, well, let's see the next one. Something you would not overhear at Martha Stewart's Thanksgiving. Oh, <laughs> Mama want Doritos. <laughs> um, rice a really is a San Francisco treat. <laughs> let's just got, get Taco Bell. Um, uh, hmm. I'm gonna say, Martha said rice roni really is. All right, then I'm going to say this. All right, how's that? 
All right. Wow. <laughs> ah. All right, thank you for playing Game of Things. It's a great board game, and you're all going to go home with a copy of that, uh, that game right there. Right there. Scoop Dogs, Hot Luck Dinner Party on GH1. We'll be right back. Thank you, Miley. We're back with Sarah Jessica Parker, everybody. <laughs> and this, this is, yes. this is her lovely new fragrance stash. Oh my God, you, you call look it how, lovely new. Look how, look lovely is my old one. Oh, Isn't that God, okay, great? so but it's no, not it's, lovely. It's nice, no, it's, it's a nice sort of it's little a lovely nod new, to the so that's perfect. This it's is stash and you can also drink it. I'm just kidding, don't drink it. You'll get sued for me saying that. Don't drink it. But it smells really, really good. It smells awesome. It, it smells, it uh, smell really it good. smells naughty. Like something you're um, not supposed to, it smells illegal. I love it. It does, it I smells, love, but you know what I, mean? I love that, being things serious. that smell illegal. It smells I like smell contraband. illegal constantly. Out of like 50 states, no, only seriously. three of them I smell legal. No, it's like, I, I describe it as like contraband. Like it's the thing like that's it. so freaking good that it shouldn't. Be, it's, it's there ought to be a law. You're going it's for the millennials. So, you got to talk. And to And by the way, <laughs> it's so freaking good. Seriously, you've been bathing it. Wow. It is so good. <laughs> um, and it's and and, and and by the way, we, there's no rules about who it belongs on. Yeah, I like meaning that. Meaning like it doesn't matter who you are. Or where awesome. you put it. Or where you put it. So this is a game five second rule. This is how this is gonna work. Oh thanks. I just want to shake your hand no matter how no matter hair. the outcome. I do hair. Here Very we go. Friendly, no. friendly sports. I'm, I'm on the voice now, so I'm going to give you a category. Win. Okay. I'm gonna okay. give you a category. You have to name three things within Terrified. that category. Okay. Under five seconds, hit the button. If okay. you hit the button and do it, you get a point. If you not hit the button, you don't get a point. Can Make you get help from the audience? You cannot get help from the audience. Yeah. You won't even have time for it. You're supposed to say yeah. Okay, we have no time for it. We have no time for it. You're gonna okay. go first. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Name three famous blondes uh, Marilyn Monroe, uh, Half Miley Cyrus, <laughs> uh, Virginia Madsen. Wow. Ellen DeGeneres. Oh. Ellen DeGeneres. Dude. All right, Miley, give us three things you say when you're mad. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you. Don't talk to me. Um, <laughs> what? What? You're not allowed to say don't talk to me? No, I mean, you just had to... What? This, uh, yep. Oh, come on. It's, I thought it was just called the five-second rule game. All right. I tapped it anyway. It's my show now. Right. I go. win. <laughs> Ellen told me no matter what you play, you win. Yeah, there absolutely. You That's Ellen yes, for you. Of course, Miss Cyrus. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Degenerous. Degenerous. To you. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay, check them out. <laughs> Name three things Matthew Broderick does when he sleeps. Uh, uh, not snore, um, smiles, uh, reaches out for me. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> smiles and reaches out for her. That's deep. That's deep. I'm scared. Okay, Miley, Don't name... ask her the same question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. <laughs> name three things you can't resist. Uh-oh. Um, my cell phone, <laughs> shoot boys and girls, and candy. Four points. That's the point. <laughs> I feel like uh, I feel like there's taken a uh, tur this game has taken. A I just turn. said anything. Yeah, I no. was like, but I meant I it. But it. I just kind of mm -hmm. said it. Here we go. Name three things you wouldn't want to sit on. Uh -oh. um, a, a thorn, a pin, um, somebody I cared about. <laughs> <laughs> somebody I cared about. Somebody you cared about. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, Miley, name okay. three things How you do when no one is looking. I about. So, I'm sorry, I do when no one is looking. looking. Uh, kiss my dog with an open mouth. Uh, um, I don't know, play Mario Kart and oh. all. <laughs> uh, <sorry. coughs> you kiss a dog oh with an open gosh. mouth? When people are looking too, but I just kind of said it. You kiss a dog with an open yeah. mouth? That's oh. wow. That is wild. Oh my wow. gosh. Okay, name three reasons you'd miss a day of work. LA. Um, a, 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 a parent-teacher conference, uh, a child's a soccer game, and a tooth falling out of a child. Oh, a tooth <laughs> falling out of a child. <laughs> <laughs> a tooth falling out of a child. Name three things you have hidden around your house. Uh-oh. Uh, uh -oh. pot, uh, alcohol, <laughs> and cats. <laughs> I know. <laughs> lots and lots of cats. What? <laughs> More cats than alcohol, okay. I call. Oh my god. I don't know what's a bigger problem. Because there's a lot of both. All right. Everyone in the I audience. Think I won. No, you, I'm just kidding. Oh, no, wait. no, I'm just kidding. You Ellen won. always you won. Wins. Ellen always Everyone wins. in the audience is going home. They've all won because they get a bottle of stash. Come on. I've 
learned a lot in 15 seasons. Still some things that I don't really understand in this world. I don't understand the fidget spinners. I don't understand Axe body spray. And when I don't understand something, it's easy to just start hating on it, and especially haters, because you know haters going to hate. One thing people my age don't understand are millennials, and I don't like ignorance, so I want us all to be open and try to understand one another. So I asked one of my friends to help me bridge the gap between millennials and my generation here to help me with a segment I'm calling Mileennials and Me, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I, I am going to, uh, well, you know what? I'm not going to say your age, because I think that's rude. But I do think you can help me out, because you're 24. Well, uh, <laughs> yes, I, I am. And in fact, you know, I, I am a millennial. So Ellen, I am here to answer any questions that you might have. Oh, good, great. Because my first question is, why do millennials Instagram pictures of their food? It seems very unnecessary. <laughs> you know, food photos are just kind of like a celebration of life. I think we take, you know, food for granted. And a photo helps remind us of the beauty that's in front of us every single day. I posted some food photos this summer. Oh. And, you know, and for me, it was a celebration because I'm vegan. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Congratulations. I am also vegan. And, um... I should have bragged about it. I could have gotten over 500,000 likes. I didn't know that. Okay, now we're at the part of the segment where we look at our phones and we don't talk to one another. I like that filter. Okay, we're done. All right. Here's another question I have. Why do millennials like dirty music festivals? There's tons of them. There's, uh, <laughs> there's like Coachella. There's, um, that's the only one I know. But it seems very hot and crowded. Well, you know, for a lot of people, it's about being seen. Everybody goes. There's tons of celebrities there, you know. Oh. So if someone posted a photo of themselves at Coachella with food, Instagram would just burst into flames? Yeah. But these festivals are also a really great way to see a bunch of, you know, bands just in one place. I see. But how, how come everybody there is, is uh, watching the concert through their phones? We're not. We're not watching the concert. We're taking selfies. Ah, I see. I see. It's loud, it's crowded, but everybody seems to be having such a good time. Is that because they're high on life? <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Well, thanks for explaining all that. I'm still not going. Um, last question. You are a millennial, and um, I know that there's always a new millennial dance move. Is there a new millennial dance move that you know that you could show me? I have a good dance move. Show me the dance move. It's actually called the Ellen. What is it called? The Ellen? The Ellen. Really? And it goes a little something like this. All right. Let's do it. Spotlight on the Happy Hippie Foundation because Yay! that is your foundation, and uh, yes, you do so much good. Yay! So, and what what Miley is doing today, Miley has just told us backstage she's donating five hundred thousand dollars to Hurricane Harvey relief. Yeah. So five hundred thousand dollars. You're amazing. Thank you. I I just I don't make me cry, so I can't really. I can't really talk about it. I don't know why it makes me so upset. It just really makes me 
just really upset. So yeah. I really hope people know I'm not like I couldn't fake it. I just like it's just you know my grandma's sitting here and my mom's here and I go home to my seven dogs and if I didn't have that anymore it'd just be really hard. So I'm really happy to help any way that I can and I hope people understand and can put themselves in those people's shoes and just know what it feels like to have everything Gone. taken away from you. Yeah. So, yeah. You're, right. <laughs> you're so sweet. All right, we'll take a break. Miley Cyrus. We're back with the one and only Miley Cyrus, who uh, is on this, uh, this month's cover of Cosmopolitan magazine. But first of all, before we get to that, um, so this, this CD, it comes out September 29th, I yeah. believe, right? Yeah. And uh, is this the first time you've written every single thing on, on the album? Yeah, I, I think that's too... Um, I, I've had like a lot of butterflies just even performing these songs, performing Malibu, Inspired, Younger Now, because it's the first time where it's really like publishing your diary and allowing everyone in, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I just, I've always written my songs, but I've always had collaborators and bounce back and forth these ideas. And now this time it's just saying, hey, here's exactly what I think and feel about what I go through, and I and I wrote a song. My one co-writer is my godmother, Dolly Parton. We wrote a song called Rainbow Land actually last week, and it was before Hurricane Harvey. And I started writing this song just about, you know, Rainbow Land, all of us living in this kind of like, this, it's, it's one of the lines says, we are rainbows, me and you, every color, every hue, let's shine through. So it's saying if all of us are so different, and we all look so different, all these shades of, you know, humanity, what a rainbow we would really be and that we could live in that land um, and celebrate it. And so that's my only co-writer and what a co-writer it is to have. You Dolly know, Parton, I just yeah. learned so much. Yeah. I love that you just go right into a song. Like, like your voice is a way to you hear, she's performing in a minute. A way to, your voice is so incredible during rehearsal. It's just like, you just get better and better. You sound, Thank you, you so sound much. so good.